Hello and welcome to this React channel. I'm Von Stitzelkrams, but you can call me Jordan. Today we're reacting to some more of Falling in Reverse. This is I'm Not a Vampire. And it's going to be the double feature because they re-released this song <clears throat> just recently. Uh, looking at this, I think it's going to be similar to the Drug in Me double feature I've done before where it looks, it's probably like a nine year difference, maybe a 10 year difference roughly, uh, on original release to re-release in a different version or genre. So this one I'm predicting is this, the first song gonna be very similar to the Drug and Me, like that poppy metal rock, and very interesting to have a title like I'm Not A Vampire. So I'm not sure what to expect with this one, more like a, from what I'm getting is a, you know, I'm not dangerous, <laughs> I may look weird, but I'm just me, don't just be chill, it's all good. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's not muck around trying to figure out what's what, let's just get straight into it guys. Click all the buttons down here, you know what to do, yada yada yada, let's get straight into it. This is Falling In Reverse, I'm Not A Vampire. <laughs> Reality rehab. Um, okay. Barry's here. A little bit of a misunderstanding. I'm not <laughs> an addict. I just came here looking for some friends. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, buddy. <laughs> you know what? Being an adult, now I'm in my 30s, it's genuinely hard to make friends. But that's also because I'm very introverted in social areas. I tend to stick to myself and I don't really like being around people. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. hey, I'm not an addict. I'm just here to make friends. <laughs> oh, that's like a Blink 182, no, not Blink, um, Good Charlotte vibe. Okay, so far, <clears throat> I like the guitar uh, chord progression, the riding up and then the back down. Uh, it's really cool. It's, it gives you that. It's really easy to bop your head to and, you know, actually get into the rhythm of things. <laughs> um, I wonder how many times filming this, these pants fell down because it looks like they're just on. I bet the whole band behind him as they're trying to play their instruments are just looking at ass crack the whole time. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, he's sporting that 2011 look, that scene look of shirtless. You know, he's still... Putting a shirt on this guy is probably the hardest thing to do in a film clip. Um, lyrics are interesting. They're... Yeah, they're kind of what I thought it would be. It was like, you know, I'm, I'm not dangerous or weird or there's nothing to worry about. I'm just me and <laughs> I don't know whether the, also there's other bits that kind of sound like a bit of a drug issue or problem that he's dealing with. 
<laughs> but, but let me know in the comments below. Well, I'm not a zombie, but I feel like one. Today, self-induced, comatose, chemical day. My head is always spinning from this dizzy, for revision if my stomach is hot enough. And I feel like a lady that is pregnant with a baby because I'm always growing up. Oh, Jesus. More just me with notes. So, <laughs> there's already a couple of cool lines that have already stuck out. Oh, <laughs> just in this film clip. First is, old mate, he's not an addict. He's just looking for friends, or he wants to make friends. Um, that, uh, hi, my name's Ronnie, and I'm an addict. Hi, Ronnie. <laughs> it's great that they fit it in within the chord progression and the song. They make it work, even though it's kind of like just a typical meeting, you know, saying or introduction. But it fits in with the song really, really well. It's quite smooth. And then pretty much backs up with another great line. Daddy should have never raised me on... Uh, yeah, Daddy shouldn't have raised me on Black Sabbath. <laughs> that would have been an interesting lifestyle if it was true. Growing up, Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath. Uh, yeah, that would have been a very interesting upbringing indeed. <laughs> Hey, that's the, uh, that's the dude in jail on the other one. Hard yeah, I guess it may be the hair thing or what, I'm not sure, but you know, we, we kind of click. We are cut from the same paisley cloth, my friend. He's a rocker. I know he can <laughs> Ronnie and I are pretty good friends. You know, we were cellies back in prison. I think Ronnie's kind of an a He's a, he's a party animal. Mm -hmm. Got a good time. You know that. <sighs> and you know something? God, when all the little babies come down the ramp, he stamps the ones that are are his precious little special babies, and Ronnie's got the the cleft. Well, as soon as I saw that, that was it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, fun film clip. Actually, really fun. I think that was Jeffrey Star in there in the um the pink getup and the pink hair. I'm not gonna try to figure it out. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, yeah, it's a fun film clip. It's actually a, a, a fun boppy song as well. It's cool. It, in the party scene, I'm totally that dude that's just like the statue, just like eating the pizza. That's me. 
any party that's made. I couldn't give a shit about what everyone else is doing. It's like, mm, food. Give me more food. <laughs> um, yeah, that was fun. I am so curious how they're gonna turn that, re uh, like, turn that into another song with the revamped version. Super curious now. Good thing is, I get to watch it right now. So, prediction. I don't know what to predict now. After hearing the last uh, reimagined song, it went in a direction I definitely didn't see coming. I'm curious whether they're going to do that again. I'm going to say yes. I think so. I think they'll slow it down a whole nother level, like they did with the other pianos, like orchestral music, and really, really powerful, powerful strings and piano and everything in there. That's my prediction. I don't know what it's going to be. So, yeah, I don't. I honestly, I don't know what to think. Uh, let's suss it. Wardrobe change! No. Nah. <laughs> Sorry guys, like, as I was filming the first half, some family stuff popped up and I couldn't actually do the second video back to back. So I've purposely held it off. I haven't watched this revamped version. I haven't uploaded anything, I didn't want to upload one half and then the other half, I did want to do the double feature, so I just had to wait to get the time, and I've got the time now. So we're getting into Falling in Reverse, I'm Not a Vampire, revamped. I really enjoyed the first one, I was super surprised how much I enjoyed it. So I'm curious to see what they do with this version. I reckon it's going to be similar to the Drug and Me is You. Uh, it, just a lot yeah. and here we are ta-da <laughs> sorry guys I had a family emergency pop up so I couldn't finish the full filming session that's why I hadn't released that one yet I have the time now and I'm gonna react to the revamp version right now so let's get straight into it, let's dive in, I really enjoyed the first one, let's see what they do with the revamped version. Like the choir sound in the background. <laughs> Falling in Reverse presents... God, he's pale. He looks strange. Okay. 
different to what I was expecting. Uh, a, a lot more melodramatic, a lot more uh, story-driven this one is. Like, he, there's an actual story that they're attaching to the lyrics. He looks so weird, so pale, so um, emotionless, really. Like, you, all the other stuff you see him in, he's, there's a lot of emotion behind all the singing in all the film clips it's he's very passionate and then this one i guess he's portraying the vampire of feeling nothing or oh, there's no yeah no feeling and you can kind of see that in the way he presents himself the way he's talking like the, the whole look is very stiff very dead very dead i am interested to see where they take this it's not what I expected, but this is a this is a nice little taste of of what's to come. Again, I like the chorus. Ah, the choir. <laughs> she looks familiar. Where's she from? Where is she from? Let me know, let me know in the comments. just there was that bit before that hi my name is Ronnie and I'm an addict that little that verse bit and I think that's the only bit so far that didn't entirely fit in this type it just felt super rushed super like quick 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 gotta get these gotta get these words in get these words in and it didn't match everything else that's the only little bit that kind of took me out of this this experience is that quick, 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 quick. And uh, hi, my name is Ronnie. So it's that's yeah, that little, little little thing that bothered me. But everything else is cool so far. Oh, is that distorted backing? So God bless all of you now Cause I'm going straight to hell And I'm taking you down with me Great vocal range. Really good vocal range. Oh, it's a He's gonna, he's, he'll bring her back, right? Yeah, <laughs> of course. The whole true blood thing, rip, rip the wrist open, drink the blood.
Okay. Um, I'm a bit conflicted on this one, to be honest, guys. I I enjoyed it. I just didn't enjoy it as much as the first one. I think they tried to build the story. Uh, they took the lyrics and they tried to build the story, but the the genre I don't think matched this one. Um, which is it's good it's just I don't think it's on the same level as the the drug in me is reimagined I don't think they're on the same level I I, uh, I honestly think I prefer the I'm not a vampire original this has some really cool moments I'm a, I'm a sucker for piano and violins and cellos and choir music like as backing uh, instruments and layering in a song uh, I, I love it it really makes a song powerful but this one I feel there was lyric wise there was just too much stuff going on and the story of the the, the film clip was was pretty good uh, but just didn't tickle me like the, the others not to say I didn't enjoy it it just wasn't my jam for this one but really enjoyed the original version of I'm Not A Vampire that one was just super catchy it was one of those songs that like the, the, the guitar melody stuck in your head and <laughs> it's been a, a well, it's been a week or so since I listen to it but I can still remember that bit quite clearly um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys I'm very curious to find out what you prefer whether you like the original more or the revamped there are uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see what everyone reacts to and or what they find they prefer I'm very curious to to see where you guys fall on that so yeah please let me know in the comments down below really appreciate you guys clicking on the video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you guys on the next one thanks so much peace